you know, welcome, welcome to the Community Solutions Show. Um, hope y'all tuned in. You know, I warned y'all. I know it's kind of late notice. We got a lot going on. It's the first day of 2021. You know, just want to thank everybody. You know, I want to congratulate everybody. I want to pray for everybody that made it to this far this year. Mm -hmm. Want to start this year off right. You know, we have a common. Duncan here with us, you know, she's an entrepreneur, she's a motivator, she's one of my motivators as well, she might not know that, but she's one of my motivators, <laughs> she's a mentor, she's a um, businesswoman, very, very empowering, and um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I felt that she was a big asset to what we bring to our communities and what we bring to our culture, and um, yeah, this, this is Carmen Duncan, um, one second, one second, I just gotta put the uh, microphone on, just gotta put the microphone on. Put the microphone on, on the camera. Yeah, we're running a little bit behind, but we had another shoot today. We did a couple shoots, you know, everything is transparent. You know, we natural in the bag right here. I knew it was something, but I'm trying to make make sure our sound is good too. You know, but, um, yeah, so we wanna we wanna tap in. Plus, let's, let's give y'all a little bit more time to to uh to tune in. You know, because I know it's a short notice, but we're getting it together. Yeah, you gotta, gotta be patient and work with us. A lot of this stuff we learn on our own, you know. But uh, we're gonna get it right. We're gonna get it right for the people. We're get it right for you And then just plug it in to the uh, the jack mix with the you know, on. BP, yeah, it's our BP right there. Lights on everything. He's only thirteen. He's only thirteen, and he has his book. He has his book. You know what I mean? His book. You know, start now. Can we now. get that? Can we get that? Yeah, make sure to check his website out. Make sure we success with Ayub. Success with Ayub.com. He did his website itself too. Oh, yeah. you just doing all yeah, the things. Yeah, he's, he's this is book right here. Yeah. So it's first of the year today yes. is faith. It's the seventh principle of Kwanzaa. So let's have yes. faith in our young man. Please. Purchase his book. You're on Amazon, right? Yes, Amazon. Yeah. So but they, they be taking my royalties. So. <laughs> oh, okay. So we got to find another situation. Yeah, we got to create our own Amazon, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, but, but we here. We got Carmen Duncan here. Like I said, you know, um, entrepreneur, mentor. One, one of my mentors, like I said, oh, she's, one wow. of my, she's one of my okay. mentors I watch, you know, <laughs> and, I, and I, um, I'm inspired by her, um, community leader, and um, yeah, you want to um, pretty much get into your background a little bit? All right, I can do that. Um, so I, I go by Coach Carmen, um, so I'm brand, I have a new brand situation going on here, okay. so I go by Coach Carmen, um, and as Kassir mentioned, I am the chief coach and founder of Mission Accomplished Transition Services. Um, so when you say my background, like, what, what would you what like me to share so I'm not too, too um, long-winded? Like, what motivated you to start Mr. Compass? Where did that derive from? Um, where did you start it? Where, where, where was it, where was the seed planted? Okay. Right, for Mission Accomplished, and what led you to starting the Mission Accomplished? Okay. Um, well, I, I am the product of... A beautiful family that were also there was some dysfunction um, as all families have some type of have some type of dysfunction um, so without going into too too much detail I I was sent up here by my mother when I was 16 years old to live with my father um, as after someone pulled a gun on me and mm. I tried to fight the person oh. So my mother was like, well, my child is either going to end up seriously hurt, mm. dead, or in juvie. Mm. So she sent me up here with, with my father. Mm. And within a year, between a year and a year and a half of me living up here, um, my dad was sentenced to several years in prison. Mm. My boyfriend at the time was sentenced to 15 years. Mm. And my brother was sentenced to seven years to life. And these were the three individuals who just, who protected me, made sure I had what I needed and what I wanted. Mm. Um, so my life changed mm. very quickly. Mm. Um, and I, I ended up in a, in a homeless situation. No one would have known that, that no, I was I homeless. Wouldn't, I wouldn't even guessed it. I would never even guess that you've been through what you've been through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From, yeah, from your, your makeup now, you know what I'm saying? From... From what you do now, it's like I would never know like your background. Like you know what I'm saying, knowing what you where you came from, which 
what you've been through, your father, your mm. parents. That's deep. That's deep yeah. because you, you carry yourself well, you know. So you you part of a solution. You know what I'm saying yeah. pretty much your solution. You part of a solution, like I said. So, um, and I had a really good foundation. Mm. Like I had my family. My family created a good foundation. Great, great values. Great morals. Um, but life happened. Right. You know? Right. Absolutely. Life it's it's so sometimes you you have to go through certain things to make you who you are today. Yeah. And to be able to relate with people that's going through what they're going through that you've been through, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And that's why I think this is a powerful platform for us because sometimes maybe people see us in the light where it's like, oh, no, nah, they never been through, no, they never been, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, well, you never know our story until you really mm -hmm. sit down with us and hopefully listen to us. Maybe you won't have to go through what we've been through yeah. and certain things like that, right? So how, how was that experience? Because sometimes I speak to people um, that's been through well, actually, I was introduced to you from um, from the late Mikey, Mikey yeah. Vera Michaels. Mm -hmm. That was that was my mentor too. That was like my my second mom right she there. She was bro. all of us because she just awesome. walked around like, no, yeah. you need to, yeah, she, you need she, to, and yeah, and we she, didn't ask no questions. Right, she was awesome. <laughs> she said, you need to link up with this, girl, link up with Carly. And I think you was doing something with like a, it was like a, it was like a bunch of, um, it was like an instant, um, not intervention. It was like a bunch of. It was, a, it was a leadership course or something like that, right? It was a leadership, uh, I forgot the name of it. It was like a um, a mentorship or something like that. With, it was a bunch with of high other, school students? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, we had a, we used to run a program. It was called Project Growth. Right. And um, the, the students that participated in the program, what they needed to pay restitution. Mm. And... Them participating in the program that we had allowed them to secure an internship, mm. earn money so that they could pay the restitution, mm. but they also were able to to receive some of the money that they made through their internship. Mm. So kind of like a job call. Yeah, thing. yeah. I've been there before too, right? <laughs> so, all right, so you've been, all right, so now you, you, you came from, you know, you came from situations, life situations that changed from from start, good foundation, then you run into a hurdle, right? You come up to Auburn, you kinda like you know, kinda like the World Smith. Once you know, <laughs> but Albany's not like Bella, you know what I'm right. So you come to Albany now <laughs> and you starting off ground zero, right? Mm -hmm. So what made you reach back out to people and and um and, and give back? Like mm. Well being in a homeless situation I did get some help from some people, um uh, Miss Baker, who is a guidance counselor out at the high, at yeah. Albany High, um, and also uh, a parent of of a friend of mine, helped me with learning about the independent living program through mm. Equinox. Mm. So at sixteen, I had my own place, mm, like right. still, you know, in in high school, mm. um, and was doing what you're supposed to do as a teenager mm. while also being a, a whole adult, right? right? Mm. So it was, I was able to meet people who were not biologically attached to me, mm. who seen the potential in me that I did not see mm. in myself. Mm. Um, and they helped me understand that, that, I, was, that I was worth something mm. that I didn't believe that I was worth. Mm. So I truly believe that if I didn't have those additional supports in my life, mm outside of my family because your family you're like you gonna love me anyway right, like right. whatever we're, we're right? Life. Right. right right we're in, but, but then when you hear things from other from other people it's like oh okay like maybe maybe i can mm -hmm. or oh like you doing that well maybe i could do that let me ask you some questions right, right. and mm -hmm. i had people who i was just able to really rely on for answers mm -hmm. and who believed in my dream to establish to establish a company mm -hmm. And I and and I truly believe as a result of those individuals who are who are very influential individuals here in the capital region, mm. that I was able to move forward, mm. and I felt it was it is my duty to give back the same way mm. that people gave gave to me. We have to live in this mentality of each one's each one. Very important, very important what you said too. Because I was gonna ask you like, how important is it for? other people to, because sometimes I have that too, you know, I have people, some people, 
I remember when I was going through my trials and tribulations, certain people said certain things to me, and it came back from the oh wow, this person cared about me, mm. right? So I can't let this person down, even now. Got like to. people care about, so I can't. I gotta do certain things to 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 uphold the vision that they look at me at, mm. right? Mm. Especially now having children, now yeah. it's like oh, for, if you mess up, then it's going and then having little brothers and stuff under you. So it's like if you slip up, everybody's watching you, right? So mm. now you have to hold a certain light, so. When people look at you in a certain how important is it to have those certain individuals in the community that's not, like you said, family, bloodline family, mm -hmm. to to help to help coach you through life yeah. and this thing that we have going on in our communities. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you have any children? You don't have any children. No. You don't have any children, right? No. Even just, saying that. Just yeah, so that, even saying <laughs> that, like a lot of, a lot of young, young young children, young young women around your age, around that age group mm -hmm. would have ran into, you know, a bunch of guys getting money and mm -hmm. had a child or whatever and been, you know, going through what they're going through, right? Yeah. So yeah. how would you able to stay focused on that track? Like, you know, you have people on your club, but how, how would you, like, if a, a young girl is watching this now and saying, wow, like, I'm in a situation, I don't have anybody. You know, you was homeless. That's, that's like a coming to a whole nother city. Yeah. That's a whole nother situation. That's like a whole, wow, you know? How, what would you tell a young sister maybe looking up too, like, well, I don't, I feel like I don't have anybody in my corner to steer me in the right mm -hmm. direction. What, what would you, your advice to that, to that young, to young girl, maybe about 16, 15, around that same age, what would be your, your advice? Trust. Hmm. You got to trust those people who you question their loyalty. Like, hmm. why, why does this person want to help me? Because hmm. I definitely had that mindset hmm. um, of, like, I just... I didn't understand why certain people wanted to help me, mm. uh, but for some reason they kept coming back, mm. even with my little chip on my shoulder <laughs> yeah. and what they have you. They never gave up. They never gave up mm. on me. Um, so definitely, when someone says that they want to help you, and they they are showing that they truly want to help you, trust it and and accept that help. Uh, as long as they're not making you feel like a charity case, because there mm. are some people that will make you feel mm. like like right. I helped you, so right. now you got to do what mm. I you know what mm. I asked you to do. But mm. Mm. Um, but just trust, because it's you know you it's it's you. it takes a community. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a community to to build a community, mm. right? So it can't it we us just relying on our family is not. 100% going to get us through to that to that next phase mm. because our families can only expose us to so much right. um, so there's other people in your life who have been exposed to, to other things in life mm -hmm. and you have to allow them to to teach you absolutely like they said it, it takes a village to raise a child yeah right because some, sometimes your family may only take you to this part and then, mm -hmm. then you have to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. So it's good to put in the network with people that's in these in these uh in these different places, positions that may, maybe you want to see and see the world, right? And quite frankly, they're intimidating. Yeah. Because it's like you like you don't you don't know me like yeah. you don't know yeah. you know you don't know where you don't know where where I come from. You don't know where where I live. Like for example, you know my family we lived on First Street between mm -hmm. Jut and and North Lake mm -hmm. throughout throughout my life, mm, right? Mm. So when you meet people and you go to their house and it's something completely different, it's just like, you don't know me, you don't right. understand me. Like, right, that's right, the right. first right, thing. Right. Like, you don't mm. really get me. Mm. And the reality is that we don't really get each other. Right. Right? Mm. So, mm. and it's not just about you. It's about developing a level of understanding so that you're able to, to um, establish a really strong foundation mm. of understanding mm. so that our differences really can help move us to to that next, next step level. absolutely so when did you when did you come up with the idea of the, the mission accomplished when, when did that start when did that, uh, how did... i was probably 22 mm. when i came up with mission accomplished mm. um i transitioned from the independent living program through mm. through equinox mm. and the program did so much for me it did a lot for me uh, but while i was in in undergrad, I learned that it was mainly us <laughs> that oh, are nice. in these systems, right? right? Mm -hmm. But these systems aren't educating us about us. They're keeping us stuck in the systems. It's designed that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And simultaneously, um, you know, you're you're just. I got to a point where it was like I'm a black young woman, and the only thing I hear about is like Malcolm X or mm-hmm. Rosa Parks or like mm-hmm. when it comes to history. Mm-hmm. And I just I started doing my own research to really learn about other historical figures. Mm-hmm. And I felt like, one, there's going to continue to be individuals who are, um, individuals who are going to go through this system and they need to learn about themselves and their history and how great we are Mm -hmm. while in the system so that we don't feel like we're stuck. Absolutely. So... Coming up with Mission Accomplished, Mission Accomplished was actually supposed to be a transitional living mm. organization. Mm. And then I read all the policies and I was like, oh, so I got to work 365, seven days? Yeah. I'm yeah, good. Right, right. <laughs> so it's, it's a non for profit or is it profit? Yeah. Non-for-profit. It's a non for profit organization okay. now that focuses on career education with the hope that one day we'll be able to do the transitional living. Okay, okay. Hold on one second. Okay. How's our light? How's our light? Cause the light just went out, right? Yeah. Look in that black box right there. It's my son right there. He, he, he was he was um yeah he was he was somewhere else when the light went out. But it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. You know, he, That's all right. He getting yeah, it together getting back it together. there. So yeah, let's God build with us. Like I said, build with us. First of the year, we're gonna be patient with each other. That's that's another this thing is we have to do. On the job training. Patient. Yeah, we gotta be patient with each yeah. other too because you know a lot of times you know we just we um we figuring this thing out. Yeah. Figuring this thing out. Yeah. He's on the job training right now. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. <laughs> he's only 13. He keeps saying he he's only 13. It. He got yeah. it. All right? All right. So, yeah, so mission accomplished. It derives from, uh, uh, it, it came, it, it started from a, a transitional program mm-hmm. first. Well, no, my the idea right. was to have transitional housing. Mm-hmm. And then it's always been a career education organization. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, but it has grown over time because mm-hmm. at first I was like, I'm gonna help everybody. We gonna help everybody transition everywhere. Can't help everybody. You can't help everybody like go yeah, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> can't do as it. much Every, as you want. In those to. cases, everybody don't even want to get help. Sometimes mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, right? That's it's a like, hard pill to swallow. Yeah, it's like you be like, wow, like I, I want to help. I see potential in you. It's like because I went through certain things. I went through a bur- breakdown before too, trying to help everybody. I went mm-hmm. through a breakdown. Like you saw me one time and. When I, when, I, when I got terminated from a job I had, you know, doing transitional work, you know, first first response and work mm-hmm. when I was doing, you know, the SNUG program. And you saw me, and I was just like, you know, I think you saw, I think I saw you over here by the mm-hmm. office. And I'm like, you know, I, I'm starting, he's like, what you doing now? I'm doing this, I'm doing some property stuff now, I'm just mm-hmm. doing this here. And I'm thinking about going back to school. And he's like, go back to school? You're like, go back to school for what? Yeah. You told me that, and I'm like, you know, just to get, you know, credentials. He's like, nah, all you gotta do, you're already doing what you gotta do. Yeah. Get you a mentor, whatever that's in your feeling. Keep it pushed. I'm like, oh, okay. So that stuck with me too. I'm like, okay. So I always, oh, I always thank admire. You for yeah, you. Yeah. So, sometimes you, sometimes you, you do, you do work, and you don't know what your work mm. is worth, and you don't know who you affect sometimes because mm-hmm. you're so busy working, right? Yeah. And even that's now, so some true. people be coming to me like, yo, bro, you remember you did this? Do you help me out? I'm like, I, I, oh. I did. Oh, thanks. Like I remember. Like, oh yeah, I didn't even think. I didn't think about it. Cause so, you wasn't doing it from a place right, like I right, want. Right, right. You need to come back and see me when you get right. It was natural. No. You, like, you get yeah. you a mentor and you you on your way. You don't gotta go back to school, waste yeah. the money, whatever. Yeah. And I noticed that too because a lot of times when we in positions, we already got it. We just don't have the yeah. the structure sometimes, right? Yeah. So it's like they take some some organizations sometimes suck our ideas up, mm-hmm. suck our energy up, and put their stamp on it. Yeah. When we could be doing the same thing in our own circles, our own groups. Yeah. That's that's kind of why this, this that's why this platform is here too for us. Mm-hmm. Community, we building the community under yeah. this platform, right? Yeah. And yeah. even with this, you know, like this, I, I went to your last event, mm-hmm. you know, and I got that, you know, mission accomplished. I use this to write my notes because he was sometime, our whole fashion influence. Yeah, I was working that. <laughs> she, 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 me, she said, I, I, "I need you to come through." Her. I said, "That's dope because." Mm-hmm. I did a lot. La- I did another event with you. With a- it was a glow party. Yeah. That was in, in cross skates. Mm-hmm. Cross skates. I mean, that- and I'm like, that was wow. I was like, that was nice. You organized everything yourself, mm-hmm. right? That was that was that well, was not like- by myself. But, but you you spearheaded it though. Uh, yeah. Okay, I know you had help, but you, you, you that was your vision. Though. It was. Yeah. The vision was dope. I went in there. It was um. It was in the um. It was in the what. 
it was the game when we, we, what was it called? I can't. It they, just yeah, closed they, they down. Just closed what the was game it? Room. What was the game room that was in in Cross? It was a it was a game room. I can't even remember now. And it had the it had the club in it. Yeah, it had the nightclub in yeah. it. Yeah, it was just a year ago. Yeah. How are we forgetting this? We too young for this. It's a lot going on. Yeah, <laughs> 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 but it was a nice event. I got pictures. I did pictures for you. But I'm like, this is nice. Like, I was amazed. I was in awe. Like, oh, this is nice. This is this is like, this is like. This is like industry or something like an end mm. I see energy and I told you I said I, I want you to help me do the anniversary of All Street Glow we got 10 years wait. in I want you to help me do that and mm. you know this year this year is 11th year because we missed last year because yeah. of the pandemic but we got like 11 years in now mm. this year be the 11th year thank you and I'm like I want you to help me organize something where we do you know we do we do a nice 10 year anniversary and go over what we did for 10 years now, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm, 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 I'm learning how to organize now. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm learning how to do well, that. Well, listen, you know what? We don't have to be perfect in everything. Right, right. Right? So you're good at what you're good at. Right. And then you get other people that are geniuses mm -hmm. in, in their areas. That's like, I feel like we so often feel like we have to do everything. everything right. And, and this goes back to the trust. Mm -hmm. Like, we have to trust people to help us mm. Mm. because if we don't we burn ourselves out mm. Mm. and then we're we're not good to ourselves mm. we're not good to our family we're not good to the community mm. so absolutely you I know you're you you have a vision mm. and then you have a person that mm. that loves that organization mm. stuff that's me i mm. love logistics if i nice. could be behind the scenes mm. just organizing stuff mm. and and support people mm. with just having all of the information mm. that they need, mm. all of the plans mm. that they need, that is where I will live. That's what I want to do. But I can't. I, somebody got to do this. So I got to do this you now. Gotta so do let me, I got to do this now. I got to put a little outfit on. What's your glow? I got to do this. I don't even like doing this. But, you know, something, something has to get done. So right. I say, you know. But um, mission accomplished, though. Like I said, I got this transitional service. I got this pad. This was nice. You know, I got this now. So now I write, I write my ideas down when mm. I'm going through things. I'm like, okay. It's the conference fashion. It was a nice fashion show. The last one was a fashion show you had. And I got this two passion plans. You gave me a whole little a whole little kit uh -huh. to get myself started. So I got a calendar now so I can start jotting down the, the times for my appointments and everything that else like that. So this, this is very important. Like I said, I appreciate you for doing it. That's why I brought it to the show just to let you know because you probably didn't remember. When I showed you, like, oh, wow, you got that? I said, yeah, I save everything, too. I save everything that's important to me. Because sometimes you give things to people and they don't use it. No, nah, I got this. Know? I got the other little book that came with it. It was like a little book, a pocket. Like a, a pocket. Po yeah. like, yeah. like this small. But it's good to write notes down and to follow up on your notes. So now, yeah. this year, I started, you know, I, I was with the family. This is good for everybody to do, too. I set a list of goals for the year, mm. right? I said 10, but I said 50. But I started with 10. I said a list of goals for the for personal, mm -hmm. your personal mm -hmm. self, let's mm -hmm. go for your family goals, family mm -hmm. household goals, and let's go for the community that mm -hmm. you live in or wherever you mm -hmm. at. So we sat at the table last night, me, my wife, my sons, mm -hmm. whatever, and we, we, we put our list together mm -hmm. for the year. So one of my lists is to help everybody else to reach where they have to reach that, mm -hmm. that I've been motivated. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's a good start for us at the beginning of the year to start a list of goals for the year. We got a whole fresh year yeah. that we blessed to make it this year. We went through last year with a lot a lot of losses, you know, rest in peace for a lot of people that, that passed, you know. My praises with the families that are still here. And um yeah, we, we that's what we need to do as a people. We need to start setting goals and we need to start unifying together. I put up a post of unifying because we all going through the same thing right now, similar yeah. things, right? Yeah. So it showed us that we're not we're not nobody's better than nobody, yeah. pretty much. We're all in the same boat. Yeah. Right? So the mission accomplished is is um pretty much what, what's the mission for mission accomplished the, the reach? What's the, what's the... So we just changed our mission, so I don't have it committed to memory yet. Okay. Okay. Um but overall mission accomplished is, is a is an organization, a career education organization that provides mentorship, coaching and sponsorship for individuals between the ages of 13 to 35 who are seeking to pursue or advance a career or scale a business in fashion, construction, interior design, architecture, uh, event planning, or as social entrepreneurs. Uh, so what all that means is we, we assist individuals with, with learning the business behind the industry. Mm. 
So the people, majority of the individuals that come to us, they know what they want to do. Mm-hmm. But they're not sure how to build a bridge mm-hmm. to get to that next step. Okay. So our responsibility is to assist them with establishing those goals, like you just mentioned, identifying all of the action steps that are connected to each one of the goals, and then supporting them with the, with identifying all of the resources mm. that will help them with achieving those goals. And those resources could be people, it could be money, it could be supplies, mm. it could be their confidence, mm. um, their mindset, whatever it is that's going to help them with building that bridge to where they see themselves is what we do as an organization. Mm. Um, So we build the the infrastructure, Mm. and then we bring in the subject matter experts Mm. to help people with getting where they need to go, while also opening up a lot of doors for people um, where those doors may not have been open as easily or as Mm. quickly if they did not have have our support and sometimes our connection. Right, absolutely. You know, to network, really speak on their behalf. That's like they say, yeah, your network is your network. It is. It's, it's, that's very important, too. That's very important, too. And that's that's good because I've I seen how you had your last show that was at the, um, it was outside at the, uh, it was on um, Western. Western Avenue, outside, nice event. Y'all could probably look it up. We have footage of that, too, but it was, you had you empowered a lot of people. You was given like giveaways, mm-hmm. fashion. They had to, they had to present their whole. They had to present their bios, right? Mm-hmm. Pretty much the bios. That was nice. And you had people that was in the crowd that reached out to support, to help mm-hmm. support. That was that was that was that was dope. That was nice right there. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them, you know, a lot a lot of pretty much you helping people find their dreams, mm-hmm. right? And tap well, into their dreams pretty much. Not so much find Assistant. their dreams, but then exploring their dreams mm. unapologetically mm. and having the, having the support to aggressively mm. pursue their dreams. Because mm. mm. the majority of the people that come to us, they know what they want to do. Mm-hmm. It's just that, like, how do I make money doing this mm-hmm. thing mm-hmm. if they're an entrepreneur? Mm. How do I get a promotion? Mm. You know, like, mm-hmm. I, I've been working in this company for an X amount of time, and I want a promotion, and I'm not really sure how to have that conversation. Mm. Or I want more money. Mm-hmm but I'm not really comfortable with talking about money and mm. going through the mm. negotiation process. Or oh, what about if they want to start their own business? Right. Something and like also that. starting, if mm. they want to start their own business, um, and they're just not really sure where to start. Mm. So a lot of times people will come to us, and they have the idea down mm. pat, mm. and they want to speed, right? <laughs> they want to right, speed. Right, right. They want to speed like, I want to be right. making all this money right, tomorrow, right, right, right. right? And I want to have this big team tomorrow. And it's like, well... Have you done revert? Have you reverse engineered right, to right. like really look at all of the things that yeah, you need to do? It's a process. It's hard because <laughs> I think you even asked me one day. I'm like, because I got the clothing line going mm-hmm. on. You asked me, you know, what's some of you asked? I'm like, oh, shit, let me <laughs> go back to the drawing board. Let me go back to the drawing board because I just, I just saw what I like. People yep. said I like what you got on. Then I get one. I say, yeah, let me get you one. So mm-hmm. I just started. But I said, let me sit back and you know put, get. Get, get to my vision board, you know what I'm saying? Because you saw, I said, well, let me, yeah, let me slow it down, you know, because I believe, even with, even with you know, with All Street Globe, it's like, I believe we have the most talented individuals coming from where we came from, mm-hmm. from nothing, and we have to create from nothing. So I believe that our creativity is more powerful than anything in the world, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's putting these situations that we're in, because sometimes you meet the most crafty, even being situations like, the group homes, you know, prisons and stuff like yeah. that. It's like I met the most talented people in the world, yeah. and then got killed and everything. I'm like, wow, they never got to show their talent. They never got to show the world what they have, but they yeah. was super duper talented, you know. And that's going back to what you what you asked earlier. Like, what what would I tell a young a young girl that is in the position that I was in, hmm. and it it me trusting people to actually invest their time and energy in me. Hmm is something that helped me. Because, mm. um, you know, people didn't know. Like you said, you would have never known that that, oh, that, that was my, that was my background. And that's because I'm just, I'm a silent mover, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and mm. I've, always, I've always been like that. Mm. Mm. Um, so people don't really know what's mm. going, on with, going on with me. And there's a lot of young adults like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. You know, they show up, they're dressed to the nines, mm-hmm. like, 
they're um they're respectful mm-hmm. they're fun mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you know they they might even have the car like they right. got all the things mm-hmm. but they're actually sleeping in their car right you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Or that, you know, they're always at their friend's house mm-hmm. and their parents are probably tired of them being there mm-hmm. and they don't even realize, like, this, I feel, really helps with not finding yourself down a very dark path. Because mm-hmm. it's when you're hard-headed, mm-hmm. right? But also sometimes you're scared. Like, mm-hmm. going back to that fear factor, That's like, this person up. really doesn't right, know me, right. so you do have your defenses, defenses up. up. Yeah. So you just continue doing what you're comfortable with. Mm-hmm. Instead of getting uncomfortable for a different type of growth. Right, right, right. I think that was one of my posters too. Sometimes you gotta get uncomfortable. You gotta get comfortable where you, where you're uncomfortable at. Yeah. Right. You gotta yeah. get out your comfort zone. That's the only. That's the only way for growth. Yeah. Sometimes, because if, yeah. if if you're just getting comfortable, you're staying the same. Mm-hmm. Everything is regular. You're not growing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And another thing with what you said, you know, with people from our backgrounds having um, having so much to give. You know, I've I, I taught in a prison for two years. Mm. I taught an undergraduate course in a in a local prison for mm. for two years, and I will always open up the class with, "What skill sets can you put on a resume?" Mm. Mm. And people will always say that they don't have any. Mm. I'm like you got here, right. Right. <laughs> like you you got here, here. you right. got you did right. something right. to get here, right. Right. and how long were you doing that something? Mm. Before, Before you got, got into prison. Trapped up, right. Right? Mm-hmm. So, when you think about it, like, there's a strategy that you had to develop. Mm-hmm. You pro- Whatever you did, you probably did it with a team of people. Right, right, like, right, that's right. team development. That's right? right. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Um, you know, the, the strategy, that's strategic mm-hmm. planning. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right? Mm-hmm. And then, if you, you know, if you made money mm-hmm. doing whatever it is that you did... Like, you had to account for that money. Right. You had the budget for right, it. Right, to get, right, right. right? So yeah. there's the whole, you know, um, mindset mm-hmm. around I've never had a, a real, a quote-unquote real job mm. is false. Right. 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 Now, don't get me wrong. You might have to change the way that you might communicate. Mm. Um, but... You know, you might have to change the way your swag is a mm. little bit, mm. but not really because people actually love the charisma. Right. Like, mm. so you, so you, you do. We have so people have so much to give, mm. and it's just about listening to individuals that may appear to be different than you to mm. help you with being able to see what's really mm. inside of you. Mm. Mm. I agree with that too. So even you, you say you're sixteen. So sixteen. You say your dad wound up doing 17 years, you said? No, my dad, he did multiple years. Mm-hmm. And my boyfriend, boyfriend. at the time was, was sentenced to, to 15. That's yeah. all I was going to get to, your boyfriend. So how, how is it you being in the position? Because sometimes we only talk about the male position, it being incarcerated, you know, we lose our family, we can't, you know, we our, our girlfriends leave us, but we in there, and I'm saying we don't look at the situations while, while they're leaving us, mm. you know, or the toxic situations that we're in that we're bringing to them. For them to leave us, or uh, we looking at oh I took care of her when he was out, I was I was give, dropping the bag on her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I get locked up and she gone. Mm-hmm. So it's like how was it on the other end? I think you spoke about I think we spoke about that mm-hmm. we, we before before we got it was like we need to speak about how the how the females feel on that end. Mm-hmm. You know you getting fifteen you get fifteen years that's like half your life. You you yeah. you, you, you you fifteen sixteen years old. Your boyfriend got to do 16 years. Yeah. That's like 30, home 30 years. That's like, I got a whole childhood. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I spent my 21st years in, in, in prison. So it was like, I, I missed my, the good years. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was like, how, how does a woman feel at 16, a boyfriend going to do 15 years? So my situation was real special. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, but it was, There, there's, there's so much. Mm. There's so much. Um, but as a, as a teen, but also as someone that was forced to be a woman much quicker than, than I should have, mm. I automatically kicked into, I got to take care of everybody. Mm. So... I got to get a package for this person, a package for this person, a package for this person. I'm going to visit this person this day, this person that day, this person this day. 
And then not to mention in between time, like there's still people that's out here um, in the streets that I care for who are also getting knocked. Mm. 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 So now it's not just them, there's other people, mm. right? Mm. So now um, I was managing my own apartment. Mm. At 16. At 16. Mm. 16, 17 years old. I'm managing my own apartment. Mm. And I'm I'm figuring out, like, am I even going to graduate? Mm. Mm. <laughs> and then I'm going to visit mm. my family members mm. on the weekend and sometimes even during the week. Mm. That's a lot. It is. That's it, a lot. It, 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 was, it, was, it was a lot. Mm. And then I'm working. Mm. Right and wanting to take on extra hours so that I am able to send those packages. Mm. Mm. So it's so just you was pretty much doing the time as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in, in addition to that, like the COs are mad disrespectful. Super, super duper disrespectful. Yeah. We can't tell y'all that. Super duper disrespectful. Right. right. We cannot tell right. y'all that. Right. 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 So if somebody said something to offend us before mm. you even come down on a on a visiting mm-hmm. floor, Shut like we got to get ourselves together mm-hmm. before you even get there because mm-hmm. if y'all even get the sense that yeah. something's wrong, uh-huh. Uh-huh. it's a problem uh-huh. immediately. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like they're the the COs, <laughs> they 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 are just like they. They sexually assault people, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Like, they should not... There's times when they may ask a woman to take off her bra or mm-hmm, whatever mm-hmm. in order for them to do mm-hmm. the wand. Right. And th- do you really need to do that? Right. Well, so it's right, like right. you're dealing with that before you even get into mm-hmm. into the visiting room. Um, and then you kind of you know what they're... You have an idea of what they have to deal with mm-hmm. before they even get on the mm-hmm. visiting room. Same right. thing, strip. Same thing. Exactly. Yeah. And then when you leave, but she spread spread them. They looking in your butt. All yeah, it's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Yes, this is real. It's real. It's, it's, it's and when, then when you leave, you feel like you're leaving them. Mm-hmm. You know, you always. I always felt like, damn, like I'm leaving them here. Like, mm-hmm. but there was nothing that I could mm-hmm. do. But it's just, mm-hmm. it was the process is real. Mm-hmm. Right. So being it, being mm-hmm. like being able to be in a situation to see that. And to see, you know, from both sides of the thing, how, how can we create some solutions for that? Because we all deal with the same type of situations, right? Mm-hmm. What What would be our go to to change some ways, some of the ways that the system is built? You know what I'm saying. I don't. When it comes to the system that's currently established. I do believe that there's opportunity for for some changes mm. within within the system, mm. but I'm a firm believer that we need to, as a black community, that we really need to think in terms of Black Wall Street. Mm. Period. Mm. Mm. The more that we are investing in each other, and the more we trust each other to invest in one another. Mm. And that investment looks different. Mm. It could be an investment of time. It could be an investment of money. Mm. It could be an investment of other types of resources. resources. Right? Mm. Um, And the more we build up our communities, like one thing I'll say is we could gentrify our own community. Mm. So the more we, we we build up our communities and not move right. we spoke about from that the too. communities. Me and, me and our sister, sister Virginia. I don't know if you watch Virginia Rollins. No, I didn't see her. Okay, yet. you gotta watch us too. But guys, I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, like, like we're we're in we're in Arbor Hill. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, yeah, we're in Arbor Hill. Mm-hmm. There are so many people that are waiting to move from here. Mm. But you have so many people that are building right on Clinton Ave right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You have the mayor that moved mm-hmm. over mm-hmm. Um, First Street by Temple. Right that over. should tell. Yeah. Like that should tell us mm-hmm. something, mm-hmm. right? So, I feel like we shouldn't be so quick to move from our communities. Mm. We need to stay in our communities. If you want to buy, buy in the community. And then, when you rent to people, don't price people out Mm. just because you're trying to, you know, get a bag. Mm. Um, And we, we really have to have faith in one another and build up our businesses and get... You know, get a black bank to be here. Mm. 
Um, there are so many black owned mm. companies that are not here in, in the capital region mm. where I really believe that we could encourage them to come here. Mm. We all, the Albany is the capital of the capital of the United States. That's a fact. That's a fact. It's a fact. And we really have to start looking at Albany in that way. Mm. We live in a whole city mm. where policies are, are uh, they're being made. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right uh, right in our faces. Yeah. We're driving by there all the time. Mm. Mm. Do we go up in there? Nah, a lot, right. a lot of us just ride around. Yo, it's boring out here. It's just, you know, it's crazy. All swing shootings out here. Like, that, 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 um, are you? The green light is on, right? Mm. It's boring out here. Or it's just too many shootings out here. Or it's it's a whole goal, man. Even, you know, we spoke about it earlier. You know, we my pops. He's like, yo, that whole piece, because he comes from New York. So mm-hmm. he's like, yo, this is, I see potential here. Yeah. And he said, I think he watched something on TV. They were saying, like, you know, a lot of people moving out. Albany is one of the biggest places that everybody leaving from. Mm. So he's like, why are everybody leaving for? And other people trying to get in, in there. Yeah. Do you know how many people moved up here from the city? Yeah, with I With this see whole it. COVID I thing? I see it. I see it. Like, there's so many it. people mm. that that's, mm. that's moving up here. Mm. So I guess, like, to just... To, to be organized in my thoughts, mm-hmm. one is trusting each other mm-hmm. enough to make that investment mm-hmm. in one another. Mm-hmm. And that investment is time, talent, finances, and other resources. Mm-hmm. And one of those resources is when we work for each other, like work for each other with passion mm-hmm. and dedication mm-hmm. with the goal of building an empire. Mm-hmm. And two is not to move from, move from the hood. If if that's where, if that's where you live, if mm. that's where you're from, mm. to not move from the hood or at least purchase property mm. in Arbor Hill, West Hill, South End, um, and gentrify our own mm. our own community. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree. And I, I really do believe if we if we live in those two spaces, mm. 